You'll know. I know that sounds really silly, but it's true. You'll know. I don't know if anybody has read any of the Harry Potter series, but you know how they say that the wand chooses the wizard? It's like that with violins and bows. Basically, bows get better as they get more expensive. So I would decide how much I was willing to spend on a bow, and then I would get four or five bows in that price range, and I would play them. Also, every bow is different, just kind of like every violin is different. And that's why I own like, you know, a bunch of them. I've got a glasser bow that is the smoothest thing I've ever played. It's super awesome for really wispy stuff like Midsummer Night's Dream. I've got a Coda bow jewel that's nimble like a violin bow, but it pulls like a truck. So it's great for my extended range instruments, octave violin, all that stuff. I've also got an Arcus P6 that's super, super light and amazingly responsive. It does whatever you ask it to do. 